just good day today. I think we're gonna have a good day today. Sounds like a restaurant. Morano, 1975. You see, Julia. Look at this. Oh. Ooh, the music. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing, well dressed. Oh, laughing with well dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. <laughs> so, um, what's your, you know, major? You, uh, you're pretty. <laughs> you're pretty. Yes. I think we're going with you. You're pretty. That's fucking cute. Let's go. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. Uh, what? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. That is f fucking fast. Oh man, left click to use. Oh my god, let's change the mouse sensitivity. Backpack. <laughs> oh, I like the mechanics. It reminds me a little bit of Raft. Is this my car? Yes. Wow, I'm not very gentle with it, am I? <laughs> this is atmospheric. I love it. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Oh, I like I like Henry. He's based. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. That sounds like a lot of talk about alcohol, to be fair. <laughs> Julia wants to get a, jo a dog. The goddess. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. You pick up the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. Well, get the beagle and name it Bucket. Oh... Mmm... I, I can't help it. I really, really like German Shepherd. But a beagle named Bucket... It's a door. Mm. You know what? Personally, I love German Shepherds. Beagles a bit small. You have beagles? Oh, that's cute. I think I'm still going to go for the other one, but that, oh that did almost sway me. Okay, heads, it's Bucket. Tails, it's Mayhem. Bucket it is. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. Get the bucket. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about- Ooh, loaded question. <laughs> Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. <sighs> do, do I answer as myself or as Henry? That'd be pretty good. One day. Why rush? The goddess. Fuck yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> let's just lead them down this path, why not? In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You say she's absolutely right. Holy shit, that is fast progression right there. Ooh, I can't dash either. This is pretty. <laughs> yeah, this looks nice and relaxing so far, and we're instantly fade to blacking. <laughs> the goddess. 1980. It's a Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. You get mad, you- I'm, I'm an ignorer. Neither one of these is great. Neither one of these is great. You don't go to bed mad. But at the same time, you should talk it out eventually. Either one of these leads down a bad route. I- 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 I, I ignore her. <laughs> Both of these are bad. Both of these are bad. Mm. You don't touch each other all night. 
The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia likes to draw. She draws plans from her research. She draws all the places you go to. She draws you. You could pose and flex like He-Man, master of the universe. Let's fucking go! Hell yeah! Or you frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Oh, paint me like one of your French girls. He-He-Man's pretty based. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model? <laughs> I think I've got to go with <laughs> pose and flex like He-Man for everything I've gotten so far. The asset? Yeah, I've got a muscle asset now. <laughs> you look awesome. Julia was right. You are very pretty. Aww. Thank you, Julia. Oh, yeah, I do. I think I'm a badass, <laughs> even though I probably look like an idiot. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. And Victoria's Secret model pose would fit me. Oh, God. The way the lights changed as well. It makes the trees look Goddess. blue. It makes everything else look orange and red. Can I just, like, print screen? <laughs> this is beautiful. Uh, we still have our ring. Wow. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy oh walking gosh. mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What? What the fuck is this progression? Mayhem runs away. Oh May! Moo! Fuck! D -d dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You beat his goddamn face in! Yeah, he kicked my dog! The fact that Mayhem, named Mayhem, ran the fuck away like an idiot. Did they not train him to be a god dog? That was supposed to be the point. You heard my dog. You're getting beat up. Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. Cry your eyes out before the cops show up. <laughs> Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. Okay, maybe this is going to be depressing. Oh, no. 1984. Uh, Plans to have kids get waylaid by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Do you convince her not to take the job? Ruining an absolutely incredible situation where if she gets tenured at Yale, she's set for fucking life. Or do you agree if she commutes back and forth? Oh Why don't I move with her? <laughs> if it's a great opportunity, then I would want to encourage someone. I don't want her not to take the job, but uh, commuting back and forth. Well, I'll say commuting back and forth. Oh, okay, yeah, let's stress the relationship, sure. Let's put all of the stress on her and the relationship to travel back and forth for me for nothing. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. But she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up, if, if, if it is what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Oh, man. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a college, on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk uh, to someone about it. Make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget. No, 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 no. No, that's not what you do. You have to talk to someone about it. You need to get help in that kind of case. Although she's probably going to get pissed off about this and this is going to speed up the end of the relationship. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41. It's only been 10 minutes! You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh, that's dark, man. That fucking sucks. Oh, wow. We couldn't even get where we need to go in one day. Oh my god, hello? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a penis. Oh god, oh god. So these guys have been- Whoa, what the- f Severe mood whiplash. <laughs> We were flaccid, flaccid. 
um, Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children are idiots. Other days you're a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love after five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Oh god. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24-hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide her to move her to a full-time care facility. You're determined to take care of her by yourself. Here's my worry. <laughs> I don't think I'm particularly suited to taking care of someone 24-7. I don't think anyone's particularly suited to taking care of someone 24-7, especially not if they're already driving to other towns and almost harming themselves in certain facilities. We, I mean, this is for the best. But I'm kind of determined to take care of her. <sighs> this is a difficult decision because 24-hour care sounds very tempting. It's in a safe place with access to help that she could desperately need whenever she might need it. But I can only imagine how lonely that would get. In a place where you don't really know anybody, you're cut off from friends and family who only get to visit you occasionally. On the other hand, taking care of someone by yourself, there are some they're in a place they call home. They're surrounded by people they know and care about, and they care for them. But at the end of the day, this is just a reg Henry, I think his name was, is just a regular person. He's not educated for this. I mean, I guess you can learn. It may be selfish, it may be foolish. I can't just, I can't see myself picking anything else. Waking up in the woods. Let's go. Respect either decision? Yeah. I mean, if you think you can do it... I mean, he said he sat with it for a few months. So I'd imagine he gave it a lot of thought. He thought about whether he actually could take care of her full time. I just... I know I wouldn't be able to. A goose! Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day and every other day. A goose? A moose! I'm sorry. It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. You go to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband. If you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She vis visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've already... You've always really liked Susan. You go to the same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over, over time, you tell Sh Sheila? I think Sheila. The bartender. Everything. It's a huge way off. Her home and in bed by 1am a couple of nights a week. I look forward to those nights. Oh, don't tell me something bad's gonna- Oh, no! Fuck! This game is so sad so fast! Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more. You think. Summer's coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. And see, that's a depressive spiral right there. 
that's the spiral where you're like oh because i'm seeing her less and less she's forgetting me and because she's forgetting me why would i see her more it makes me more depressed fuck man it's only been a few minutes yeah we lost our dog we lost our wife enter the lookout tower you got it it's nice and comfy <gasps> Berry? no flowers <laughs> for some reason this game's art even though it's 3d and much more defined reminds me of uh project winter wow can we just walk away what happens if we just walk away okay you know what the the calm and nice song stop and now it's just the night and um now i'm afraid never mind i was so brave because there was nice and calm music that wasn't scary at all yes here we are it's rather cozy honestly Turn on the power. So, I'm gonna imagine Hello this is gonna be tower. my home for the summer. Hello to you. Wow. Look at all the shit we could have seen if only I wasn't a pussy. Why? Yeah, how do I do that? Oh, shift. I know you you're don't there. hold it that your way. Lights are on. Hey, yeah, chill, Delilah. Why do I know your name already? Okay. Oh, you're the one who gave me the job. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. Oh, Pinecone. Oh, that's why I know the name. Let's go. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? <laughs> People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? It's a bit early for that. You? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I like, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um, sure. You've killed three ex-husbands. You're rebelling against mom. Nobody back home can stand you. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill Thank again. Yep. Yeah. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now. Okay, um, you're probably just rebelling against a mom who wishes you had given her grandkids, by the sound of your voice, at least 15 years ago. You come out here and it really grinds her gears and you love it. Can I sleep now? Well, she also says I fuck immature men, but in my defense, who wouldn't want a 28-year-old with ambition and energy and some fire in his belly in bed? Me. I'm going now. <laughs> but this is fine. Day one. I would write my novel in a cabin. Why not? It seems like a good place. Oh no, I am being called out. <laughs> well, it's good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. I am really being called out, am I? <laughs> Sorry, hey. guess I slept Sorry. in. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing. What, is Delilah in his head? Sleep? 14 yeah. hours. Jesus. Let's go. Six? 645. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? A photo with Julia? It's right in the middle of your room. Oh, sorry. You can't miss it. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, baby. <laughs> yeah, you good, Delilah? window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West. How would I know what's west? Um, and to use compass. Oh. Just fucking fireworks? Yep, those look like fireworks. Oh, no, those are fireworks. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. These go down there idiots. and set them straight. Okay, I'll go kick their ass. Like, kick the shit out of them? Yeah. Do you think you can handle that? This one is kind of funny, I'm sorry. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 Jesus, no. Sorry. Well, I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. here. I don't like Just that I have bleach. Make sure they and I have don't the option do it to. Again. Take 
their shit. Where's my All drinking right, bottle? Yeah, Don't let's put it, it in the <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You'll probably need a rope to I hope that isn't how this game ends. If I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Smart. Shut up. <laughs> okay, the voice acting is freaking great. Convenient. Convenient. That's one word for it. Okay. Our first job, chat. We're going to beat up some kids. I guess. This way? Game is so pretty. Oh. Where am I? Two forks lookout got you. I'm going the wrong way. This way? Oh, it's going the right way. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't go through much gas and well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so um so it's uh just the outhouse then in oh. terms of going to the bathroom yeah. you're a man henry you can go wherever you want well number one at least and uh full disclosure i pee wherever i want as well uh i did not want to know that it's like i'm actually going on a walk in the woods except the woods are a lot prettier <laughs> Welcome to the 80s, where everybody had paper ma maps and only half of the people actually knew how to use them. It's nice and comforting. I'm glad we got sunset again. Why is there smoke over there? Don't tell me there's another fire on the way and we just don't know about it yet. Who needs a map? I have manly intuition. I found the supply box. Great. Uh... Oh. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, all right. The wild woods of Wyoming. Are we going to have fun? Are we going to get eaten by a bear? Who knows? Open that shit up. Wear boots, Futan? There you go. I've got boots on. I've got little tiny hiking boots. They're perfect. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. Wait, can I talk about this? Hey! But we weren't supposed to have food out. People just stuff these things with old food? I, That's I how you it. get bears. I'm bringing it. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. Oh, I'm gonna eat it. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. You listening, mister? Now what do I do? Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. You know what, chat? Whatever. I'm gonna climb. I can't climb. Bears eat pretty much whatever they get their hands on. There are bears in certain areas where they will get addicted to eating human food, like donuts and stuff. Stupid humans will feed them, and so they'll keep coming back to human habited areas. And then they become dangerous, and it's bad for the bears and the people involved. It's not great. Can I sit down? Oh. I think I just ate it. I pulled a mista. I pulled a mista and I didn't mean to. Disclaimer, don't eat expired things. Oh, we're getting close, chat. Amazingly enough, I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out. Who needs a fucking map? We're definitely getting closer. Shale slide, it's steep. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? With the rope, you idiot. I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Oh, I guess I'm a little bit of a bitch. What about shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill? Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hell yeah. Oh, 
No! Ow! This is not that steep. You can climb down this. This is not that bad. No, no, no! Okay, maybe I said nothing. Oh, death approaches. I'm waiting for it. It's gonna happen. No, yeah. No, no! Yeah. Oh. Uh, this is where the horror game begins. Now I've got a broken knee and there's gonna be something hunting me. We were too we were too heavy. Report climbing accident. Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. The rope make it. Well be careful for Christ's sake. Hello, nice camping spot. These cliffs down here are something. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. It yeah, is really pretty. Thanks for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What That's... happened to them? Mm. Dunno. Just stopped coming out. What's bouldering? Is that like climbing up rocky areas? I want to go that way. What is this? Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? <sighs> yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. <laughs> what do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwell light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. <laughs> Better than these fucking litter bugs, though. That's for sure. Yeah, escapism. Oh, my God. Leads to more escapism. Um, there's a critter out here. A <laughs> raccoon. I can't understand. Oh, he took the, he took the chocolate because bar. I'm whispering. Because you're whispering. <laughs> hey, buddy. Pears, pears, pears. Why would you do it, you bitch? Yes. No. No, what the hell? What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, Why did you have to pears, shout it through pears. the fucking the radio? Peeling fruit. <laughs> Anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. I was. You chased Thanks. Rocket away. What oh, damn it, Delilah. You are no longer a delight. Oh, nice. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously <gasps> still there, so tell them off and then head back. Uh. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Wait, take the bra back, hang it back. What is wrong with you? I'm getting ready. Yep, pair of panties too. Uh, there are, uh... No, I'm not going to examine them, game. I'm going to examine what? them. I don't want to say that word again. <laughs> Why, because you're 12? Yeah, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, man, I love how much he's bracing you for this right now. It's like, get ready, get ready. Another bra, another pair of panties. Oh, they're both girls. Shit. They're having a good time then. Good, they're out in the water. I don't have to see them. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. With that. This is going to be fun. Two girls out in the woods having drank a bunch in the day. Now skinny dipping and they're God. teens. God damn it. They're drunk. I'm the ranger, you dumb shits. You don't know a damn thing about me. I'm telling you to stop we setting off you're fireworks because you're gonna burn shit down. How long are you even standing over there? Wow. Oh my god, is that what you are? Barf me out. Barf me out, Dude. God. I'm glad I didn't. Fuck the 80s, man. <laughs> the lingo was so bad. And you're Just radical. I mean you're not wrong about that. You don't know a damn thing about me. Yeah. Fuck your radio. You, you asshole! Find <laughs> another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. This is actually a pretty good song. <laughs> I hope they drown. I hope they drown. Yeah, oh, they wow. mean. Um, they mean. The music's uh, a little loud. 
Okay, don't oh, worry, I got you. Sorry, I took their stereo. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> I guess we're all even then. Yeah, I think so. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, this lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. <laughs> yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Start to feel like it. What the, the dialogue between these two? <laughs> Shitty boss is gonna get me killed, Hill. I like the consistency. Backpacks. So they just left their stuff down here. But it would be a bad idea. Yeah, no, that would probably actually get them genuinely killed. Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? Right. Ah, uh, you're so serious about everything, Delilah. It's a video game. It's a video game. Yeah. I got a trail of pee. Whee. I'm gonna follow the pee trail. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Okay. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. You wanted to start it in a anyway, deep conversation, I get it. Anyway, when you get back to your lookout. And if she was drunk, it's probably because she's escaping her own shit and I can't go under this. Are you seriously? That would have been cool. Damn it! <laughs> yeah, she's probably trying to escape her own shit while she's here and so she wanted to find someone to be able to talk about it with. Man, I feel like I'm going to be missing a lot of stuff if uh, there's like optional stuff. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort when it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here. What does that mean? Uh... Sorry, I don't really know what you mean by recruiting effort. Oh, after last summer. You know, budgets went through the roof, a lookout, and every lookout for the first time in 20 years. Last summer? Oh, come on. You're from Denver, not Delaware. This was national news for Pete's sake. Boulder. I'm from Boulder. Same diff. Uh, this one, I guess? So are you going to let me know what happened that caused this budget increase, or what? <laughs> wow. I can't believe you don't know. I was a little preoccupied last summer. Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. That there sounds like a terrible that the idea. The entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. I mean, what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the Gipper? After photography flashlight got you. Ooh, a horn. There's a horn There's in a here. a horn or an antler or whatever. Made me kind of well, horny. Antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. Oh. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Hmm. What's in this What's cave? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? <laughs> hey, I didn't name it. But and in yet, the cave, use the name. I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. Case closed. So, Access key available so at Ranger Station, Dubois, Wyoming. Oh, we're in Dubois. Great. I used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, oh yeah. High. Obviously, be very careful. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Hello? Hello? What the heck was that? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. 
Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. <laughs> sure. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? That's awfully heavy to just drop out of the blue. <laughs> the synchronizing? I know. How is this dialogue written so perfectly for me? Everything they respond to each other with, I'm like, yep, yep, that's exactly what I'd say. <laughs> God damn it. Game gets me. Oh, God. So many fucking stars. I need to go camping again soon. I haven't been camping in forever. Oh. All right, Shatteroos. We may need a map. But luckily, we have one. <laughs> I do not remember the... What? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? <gasps> Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Who's that? Henry, there's... There's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Oh, don't do this. It? It's... Outside. <laughs> There's bound to be people out here. Say, Please, it's 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 madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, I get it. Okay, wow. There's a lot of climbing here. Three, four, uh, up, four, up, up. Oh, okay. There he is. Okay, so that's not good. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. <laughs> the amount of sarcasm and sass from every single line. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, exactly. be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Chat, here's my uh, best advice, right? If you want to fight a man, you have to be like, dodge. Is my generator? Ah. Oh, wow. Outhouse. Forest uh, Barnes? You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Do you like Smokey the Bear? Oh, Forest Burns. Yeah, that makes sense. Service. That is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. He inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. That Shrink sounds like a you problem. Day with you. Wait, are you telling me this, <sighs> this is what you are into? This is what you're into. What kind of name is Forrest Burns anyway? <laughs> she Glorious was into Forrest Burns. <laughs> that scared me. To junior high it's with a guy named ugly. I hate it. Royal? It's fine. Royal Butts? <laughs> I didn't know anyone was ever named Royal. That's ridiculous. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. You know what? You're coming with me. Man, You're my worse. buddy now. Yeah, well, it's the still goddess. better than Forrest Burns. <laughs> what is... Um... Uh... What can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground, outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Who the fuck's... Who the fuck messed around with my typewriter? Did the girls come here to fuck this shit up because I stole their whiskey <laughs> and destroyed their boombox? You know what? Fair trade. Fair trade. Someone broke in. They what? They just... What? They wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um... I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Okay. I would assume it's that dude, but why? In the middle of nowhere? Shit. They take my... They took my fucking... Everything off the mattress. I'm gonna freeze to death. They broke open the window? I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry. You won't... Okay, I put in a call. Well, what can they do about it? Will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii 5 
Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh The guy there there's no way the girls at the lake did it, dude. It would have taken them Maybe so the long. I saw in the canyon, but I don't know why the fuck you'd want to mess with my stuff. I don't well, think it's the girls. I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. Uh, okay. In mm. the morning, I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since I don't know forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. I don't feel safe. Just tell me where to find a gun. Hell Just yeah. For a service weapons cache, I'll feel safer than the Was a raccoon? Car. You think a raccoon threw a typewriter yeah, out the window? Uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Probably, yeah, Grenades. makes sense. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Grenades. Grenades would be better. But yeah, oh. And we're done. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to go the creepy route. That was kind of unnerving. Great. Probably a bear? Yeah, Chad, a bear came in, took my typewriter, and smashed it through the window.